Japan to give Ukraine 5.5 billion dollars, host online G7 plus Zelensky. Here's a summary of the article. Tokyo, Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida on Monday announced a new $5.5 billion financial aid for Ukraine and will mark the first anniversary of the war by hosting an online group of seven summit with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Kishida, speaking at a global forum in Tokyo organized by a Japanese think tank, said Ukraine still suffers under the Russian invasion and its people need help to rebuild their daily lives and infrastructure that's been badly damaged by Russian attacks. As this year's president of G7, Kishida said he will host an online summit to be joined by Zelensky on Friday to mark the first anniversary of the Russian invasion. It will be the first time for Kishida to host a G7 summit. Japan has joined the United States and European nations in sanctioning Russia over its invasion and providing humanitarian and economic support for Ukraine. Advertisement In his speech, Kishida acknowledged he made a decisive move because of strong concern that Ukraine may be tomorrow's East Asia. Japan has provided loans of more than 70 billion yen to Ukraine in emergency economic assistance. This post received a score of 9,200, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That's a significant escalation in support from Japan. I suspect it's heavily driven by, we need to solve the Russia problem, from Japan's point of view. Also part of the Kuril Islands Reclamation Fund. Japan is still technically in war with Russia, so yeah. Kuril Islands is a very annoying question for them. Greater than technically in war with Russia not quite, but they do still have, disputed, territory. I put that in quotes because only Russia disputes it belongs to Japan. Damn. That's a comparatively huge amount of support relative to their size and distance from the Ukraine conflict. Aren't they like the world's third or fourth largest economy? I'd say Japan is pretty big. Just the doors flying low. They're certainly a heavy hitter in GDP, but still a fifth of the US economy. This support is roughly proportional to if the US announced it was sending 25 billion USD, which we have sent that much, and more, but it's still crazy Japan is sending so much relative to European countries that have this war right on the doorstep. Financial aid is vague and not all equal. US has supplied mostly grants. Half of Europe's aid has been loans, initial 9 billion May, then 18 billion November. Japan's 5.5 billion aid is not specified but every previous financial aid from Japan has been loans. Wow. Good on Japan. That's a step up from what they have been doing. And that really will go a long way with addressing the humanitarian and financial crises brought on by the war. Wish I read they were donating a giant Gundam instead. Piloted by a 16-year-old girl with green hair. That's a funny way of saying, 14-year-old albino clone of her joke of a father figure's dead wife whose soul is in the other giant robot that she probably shouldn't pilot. But didn't that one have blue hair? Damn, Japan. Nice fucking work. $5.5 billion in the form of mechs. So two boxes of Gunpla. This dude knows the price of Gunpla. Maybe it's that massive, Dendrobium Gunpla. Aragato Nihon. Good job Japan. Question mark, question mark. Thanks Japan. Adding Ukraine into a G7 meeting makes me all kinds of happy. Japan packs a big punch internationally, especially considering their natural resource limitations. Good job Japan. President Biden visiting Ukraine and this news from Japan. Glory to Ukraine. India should be embarrassed. Their reaction to Russia's attack on Ukraine? To buy all the Russian oil they can. India is not a NATO ally. Nor does it have a good history with Western countries. I'm not expecting them to provide any aid. Their response is pretty on par with what I expect a nation with no stake in the war, nor any strong ties with the West would act. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.